Alright. I got a whelp again. Whelp's also good. You see, the fatal flaw in your plan, Fulda, is that you can only swap out one at a time, and I can just keep swapping out the Pokémon that are sweepers with other sweepers. So if I have two sweepers, uh, you can't stop me. If I have a Salamence and an Archeops, you can't stop me. I'm gonna have one at all times. Um... Next. Next in here. I think I have to fight this man. Alright, Dwayne. With your sack of trash. Okay. Gross. Disgusting. Disgusting! I get to paralyze him because the game hates me. Oh, never mind. The game was graceful. gracious this time. And he's using toxic. That was close. Okay. That that lightning strike was nearby. It's been storming a lot these past few days in Toronto. Like a good amount. It did. Stormed yesterday. Like it stormed hard yesterday. Like it was damn worse. some levels. One more battle! Diwa! Look at that, it's Gyu! Good old Gyu. Good boy. Same thing. Well, that's not good at defense. But if I can just paralyze you... Why did they ever make Water Sport and, like, Mud Sport a move? They're awful. They're awful moves. Like, hands down, some of the worst moves in the game. Just because of who can learn them, and the fact that it takes a turn to use them. There's so many better moves. To make us suffer. Radio skin. Big and strong. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, I don't heal. That was it. That's last battle. Sir, I want sodas. I'm the owner of the sheesh, did it. Of the seashore house, you can call me Mr. C. What I love all, above all else is, is to see uh, hot Pokemon battles. Let me see if your heart burns hot. If you can defeat all the trainers here, I'll reward your. Uh, didn't beat everyone? Did I not beat? Oh, okay. 
You're scorching hot! Those battles blaze! I'm warm and pleased! As thanks for showing me your hot streak, I want you to take these! It's half a dozen bottles of soda pop! That means six. Alright. A dozen is a weird, a weird thing to give a name, I think. Like, why did they do a dozen? Why, why 12? Why not just keep it at 10? People have 10. 10 fingers. Yo, trainer. Whether you're hot to trot or a cool cat not, chill at my papa's spot. I... This line is, like, fucking branded into my brain. I can recite that one any day. Any day in my life. I don't know why. I truly do not know why. It's just stuck in my mind. Oh yeah, synchronous. That is true. That's a move. I don't ever use that. There's a lot of moves that just suck big doo-doo. A lot of moves that just, uh, they ain't it. They ain't it, chief. Alright, uh, I went too far. I want to go in here. Oh, I'm... Okay, cutscene. Forgot about this. I... Uh, if this goes here, that goes there. Then what does this do? What about that do, Kiki? I can't make heads or tails of this. You? Oh, sorry. I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to drop designs for a fairy. Oh, those parts you have. Those are the Devon parts. But this won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but could I ask you to find the captain and give him these parts? It's only worse than monster that are mean to it. I mean, he could still hit other Dark Titans with it, can't he? Just other hit the uh, other Dark Type Pokemon. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Fifty dollars! Fifty- well, I wonder what you could have to do if you run out of money. I wonder if anyone's tested that. Because you can run out of money and... I guess you can reach out to trainers. Uh, do you give me thief? That was stopped at reception because I didn't have 50p. We're told to assemble here, but we did. Our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. We have Team Magma exists for the good of all people. Look at this little spinny thing. Maybe it be it's me for measuring the depths or something. Like some kind of gyroscope. I can put my knowledge to use in nefarious deeds. Make money from stealing stuff here. If it didn't fail, Rustbow would not have, have, have had to come here. This guy. Aye! What are you doing here? Me? I'm the member of Team Magma you stumped before. Remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. You're a thief. Oh, darn it! You so screwed up our plans. I was going to steal something to make up for it, but you just you wait. You'll get yours one day. Alright, bye. The pressure is not very heavy. However, in extremely deep waters, pressure can reach even tens of thousands of tons on a small area. This. The fossil with the wavy ridges on it. Soil on the ocean floor gets scattered by the tide. Flowing seawater marks the soil with rid small ridges and valleys. If this soil becomes fossilized, it is called a ripple mark. This is actually very interesting. What does it say? A blue fluid is spiraling inside a glass vessel. This is an experiment to create a whirlpool artificially using wind. Interesting. What's this? A red ball is bobbing up and down inside a glass vessel. This is an experiment simulating a waterfall using the ball's buoyancy. Oh. Interesting. It's a sample of soil from the ocean floor. Over many years, the remains of life forms settle at the bottom of the sea, making sedimentary layers. Analyzing these layers reveals the ancient past. It's a sample of, uh, of beach sand. Stones from mountains are washed down by rivers where they are chipped and ground away. They are reduced to grains ending up as beach sand. I'm actually... I'm liking all these descriptions. It's kind of cool. Oceanic Mini Fact 3, which is bigger, the sea or land? 
if you're not countering, counting, like, the Earth's core, the sea. If you're just counting surface area, the sea. The sea covers about 70% of the planet and the rest is land. The sea is therefore more than twice the size of land. Oceanic mini fact 2. Why is the sea salty? Seawater contains the salt salt in the form of sodium and sodium and chlorine chlorine ions. These ions leach out of rocks. The concentration of dissolved salt makes the sea salty. There you go. The rocks make the sea salty. I, I'm actually really liking all these facts. I've never really gone through and looked at these. I didn't know Game Freak put them out like the effort to give actually interesting scientific facts in this museum. It's pretty cool. Oceanic mini fact number one. Why is seawater blue? Light is composed of many colors. When light passes through water, most kinds of light lose color. However, blue light retains its color, making the sea appear blue. There you go. That was pretty good. I like that. that was 10 out of 10. This is pretty cool. What is this? Just gonna model the Hoenn region. A miniature diorama of the Hoenn region. Where's Little Root Town on this? A scale replica of the ship under construction at Stern sh Shipyard. Wait, I think these are all empty. Oh, here you go. Can't do a water quality sample. A label here. The sea is all connected, but the water seems to differ by region. Show to water light quality sample. Maybe the water saltiness differs from one region to another. Sino water sam quality sample, the other says. The water from melted snow contains a lot of nutrients, such as minerals, for example. Unova water quality sample, the label says. Water hardness is a measure of the amount of calcium and magnesium it contains. Interesting. Callus water quality sample, the label says. The hardness of callus's water often exceeds 300 ppm. That's characteristic of the waters in callus. Near the bottom of the sea, water flows due to differences in, uh, in such factors as temperature and salinity. Towards the surface, seawater flows as currents drive, uh, driven by the winds. Yep. Uh, there should be some more stuff here. Yep, a little summary. And there's a little, what's this? Submersible pod. Hey, the Royal Unova, a model of the Sunset Cruisers currently being built by the Unova region. It's scheduled to be complete in years. Blank years. The number's too faint to be able to read. SSN. Uh, this is, by the way, this music is used for the SSN. Same song. Obviously, this was remade for Omega Ruby, but still. Same music. A ripple of... Yeah, Cruises of Boom. And then the last one. Does this say anything? It's playing... Uh, is playing a... Uh... The... Blah, blah, blah. A video is playing of a guy with a wacky hairstyle. Who could be a scientist conduct who could be uh, who could be a scientist conducting an experiment with some sort of machine? Because of this, when you dive into the sea, you feel discomfort in your ears. I believe he's talking just about your I don't know what it's called, but your body has different pressure compared to water, and your ears are usually what keep water out, making sure that you don't you know, fill with water. Yeah, you, that's what water pressure sort of, like, how some sea creatures survive at the bottom of the ocean is because the amount of, as I understand it, the density or water pressure inside of them, these creatures at the bottom of the ocean, is roughly the same as the water density that they live at. That's why blobfish, when you take them out of water, they just sort of flatten out. It's really not good for them because they don't look like that when they're at their area of the ocean. They've just lost all of you know, the water pressure that they had. It's very dangerous for them. Blobfish don't normally look that flat and pancake-like. Yes? If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the purse I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all the way. Uh, all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Ha 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 ha! Just a moment! We'll be taking those parts. What was that? Who are you people? We are Team Magma. Our boss has need of the parts in that case, so relinquish it to us at once. You know, I actually had a lot of fun reading these museum facts. They're pretty cool. Cool low playing too. Hopefully it's not Mega. It's not. Okay. Uh, let's get it. Give it 
do the old dragon move. Okay. Oh. It could be worse. A brown says, yeah, please miss that jump kick, by the way. I'd love it. I'd like, really appreciate it if you just didn't hit me with that. Please paralyze. Thank God. Bye-bye. That one hit hard. Um, I can take one more, but if it crits, it kills me, so I'm not gonna risk it. I want Malfoy to live! Haha! <laughs> I never actually read any of those facts. I just looked through this area and never looked back. I do that all the time. That's why I, like, truly... This is the first time that I've- oh, it missed. This is the first time that I've actually looked at this museum's facts. I never, like, I never cared, because I just play video games. Didn't realize they were actually really cool. Um, let's get rid of here. I know the chip away is not a good move, but I might as well. Absurd! I was defeated by this child! This is quite disastrous. At this rate, I will become the target of the boss's fury. My, you really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while a future ace grunt of Team Magma makes short work of this infant. All right, infant's a bit much. Oh, oh that's a Greninja. Greninja. Water. I could send in radio, but it's excessive. I'm pretty sure Malfoy actually kind of probably got this. Malfoy's kind of tanky. That brand book screen, that's kind of a jerk. That's kind of a jerk move in a hand, but you're paralyzed now, so suck it. I'm just gonna headbutt you to death. Okay, you dodged it. Don't you dare. God. Now we're dealing with flinch and paralysis. Okay, and he still did. He didn't care at all. There we go. Ninja down, what's next? That Malfoy gets even more levels. Crunch. Hefty move. Uh, I want to keep Ember just in case, but at the same time, like, I'm gonna get rid of Ember. I might go up against Steel types, and I might regret this. But Ember's still not gonna do as much damage, that much damage at all. I'm gonna go with Crunch. Choice of Magic's video right now. I think there's actually one battle where you fight six Pokemon at once. There's a horde battle with Grunts at one point in this game. When you're raiding the uh, hideout in Lilico. 600? No. Jesus. Christ, no. The bubble. Yeah, it's a real challenge because there's physically not a combination of moves that you can have that would knock out that many Pokemon. You would run out of moves, like, before 100 hit. Hey, Biggie's evolving! My boy! Alright, Biggie. Mm. 
Look at that man. Large and in charge. Body slam. Get rid of that spray. Look at Biggie. How could a future ace grunt of Team Magma be defeated? Well, what should we do now? We must obtain this that case at once. Hum. I would never have posited that a mere child would prove such an obstacle. Oh, wait, that's him. Sorry, I should have read that in the right voice. Now, here I was wondering how little you could be held up. By sunlight. How you could be held up in this, the simple act of seizing a kiss. Do I take it you are being stained by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me of your fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. Yes, I think I can see why my lowly grunt could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of pro progress and evolution. Indeed, you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world, the land. It is the stage upon which humanity exists. The land exists so we humans might continue onwards and upwards, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand. A land upon which we can stride forwards. A land we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis for the growth of all human endeavors. That's why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of this world. Believe that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness for humanity and consequently all life. I suppose the concept may still be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I have tried to open your mind. I will take my lead. I suggest you take care that you never stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient the next time. I implore you to remember that. We are done here. Young man. Ah, fish. That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for your help. Ah, yes. I almost forgot that you bought or brought the dead parts from Devon. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this. Excuse me. Alright, there we go. I hope everyone enjoyed the museum. Remember to say thank you to the staff. Donate if you think that you should. Even though they did charge tuition, but that's fine. Museums gotta stay up. Look, I might not go to museums and libraries that often, but they are a noble cause of education, and we cannot defund them. So I'll pay that tuition, or that fee, gladly. Not tuition, fee. Educate the masses. Uh, alright, so we got our team. We got Biggie, Radio, Wealth, Malfoy. A lot of overlapping types, but I'll make do. And we're off. Alright, I can go in here. Someone in here gives you a TM. Or maybe they don't do that anymore. Good music. Oh, there it is, Torment. I like the music a lot. I don't like contests, not my thing, but I like that music. Very good. Um, I think that's it, right? I can buy TMs, but I don't need any TMs that they offer. I, I can fish, that's right. 
I need to fish for my encounter here. Almost forgot. So let me swap into the right mons. Alright, slate port encounter. How am I gonna catch it? If you don't know, Beldum have ridiculous catch rates. Like, they're the equivalent of legendary Pokemons when it comes to trying to catch them. It's so hard. It does not help that they also have taken. I don't know how I'm gonna do this if I even try. There's also no way I can body slam this thing. Babu, what move do you have? Let's walk into Babu. Babu will be fine. Obviously, it's only got takedown right now, it's fine. I can get this. Uh, look it. Okay, well, you know what? We're going with low odds. I did not think Babu was going to absolutely decimate the Belda. Okay, never mind. We might not catch it. God, that's so good. That is so good. Instead of blood, a powerful magnetic force courses through Beldum's body. This Pokemon communicates with others by sending controlled pulses of magnetism. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. 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 Um, I'm going to name you... Oh, it's, a, like, it's like a supercomputer Pokemon. I'm gonna go with a really silly name. Oh no. I know. What? Okay, I no, I have a name for it. I just gotta figure it out. There it is. There's a supercomputer in Ratchet and Clank that I'm going to name this after. Called Iris. And I think it makes sense. Beldum have one eye. Oh, that is sick. That is so good. Beldum is a fantastic catch. I Babu was just going in the box, I'm gonna be honest. Be gone, Babu. Still, I'm like... Man, I'm so hyped. Oh, look at this team. We have, like, the trifecta of pseudo-legendaries that aren't just, like, the same type. We have the Flying Dragon-type Malfoy, we have the Steel Psychic-type uh, Iris, and we have the eventually Rock Dark-type of uh, Crash. Ooh, and then, we're, and then later on we're gonna get a Dragon Poison-type. Poison's a good type. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let me update that. I'm sorry, Vogue, you're off. I'm not sorry, actually. I said sorry, I'm really not. Uh, sorry, not Vogue. Babu. Honestly, this uh, update, or this UI should be different. I forgot to update for when I had Crash. So let's change this to the middle And name it Iris. Go. 
then I'm gonna be the Jupiter. This lineup is sick. Now, we have the one struggle. We have the one struggle. I have to get to the high levels. I'm not there yet. I have a Beldum, I have a Bupitar, and I have a Shellgun. They are not the pseudo-legendaries yet. They're just like... They're like eggs. Waiting to hatch. They're just little babies. So, it's going to be a bit. Hey, that's Liz... Lizia and Ali doing a sh shoot over there. Are you serious? Lizia, let's go! I thought it was Lisa. Hi, everybody! Lizia here, me and my Altaria Ali have come to my to Slateport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun! Ali Lily! Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah, the dazzling, dizzying doldrums to find. Dazzling, dizzying, dazzling, dizzying. Lizia's miraculous contest getting. Start. Lizia, scout me to be our next boy. <laughs> Yo, this man's a simp. This man really goes out to all the concerts and buys all the merch just trying to become the boyfriend. Alright, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi, have you never joined in the contest? That's just what I want to hear. Then let's get to this, get this show on the road. This is the trainer I'm gonna get today, and his name is Fishy. When I took a good look, I could easily see that Fishy is a powerful trainer with several badges on his own already. Two, that's several. Fishy, you can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now listen up, because I don't want to just see, I don't just want to see you make your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go, take these. This is a contest pass, which is the first thing that anyone needs to take part in this contest spectacular. And this one is Pokeblock Kit, which you will let which will let you make Pokeblocks for your Pokemon out of berries. Fishy's story begins today. Yeah, and this chapter should be titled. A sudden encounter miraculous contest scouting! That's what I'd call it. Now everyone out there watching, you'd better expect great things from Fishy because I do. That's it for today's Lysia's Miraculous Contest Scouting. See you all next time! Altari! Clap 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 clap. This year's so cute. Did the old man just say that? I'm concerned. If you feel up for it, try your hand in a contest for me, okay? Tee hee! Yeah, I hope my uh, I hope my idol performance really uh, set in the mood. I really, I pulled all the stunts I could. Anyways, on I go. All right, we have another encounter here already. Uh, Biggie, back up front. What do I have here? Chantry. Little baby. I can catch this one, it's a lot more manageable than a uh, Belba. Look like a pop sensation kill god with your bare hands. Wish I could do that. I'm not quite that uh buff. I wasn't even a- it wasn't asleep yet. I tried. Now I'm going to try. Ooh, 
There we go. Good old stand true. What am I gonna name you? That's right, Tantru is in the decks. Nuzz Pokemon, female. Tantru's body is configured to absorb water without weight, enabling it to survive in an arid desert. This Pokemon curls up to protect itself from its enemies. I'm gonna nickname you, uh, I'm thinking Gyro, because it spins. She's a spinner. I like Tantru a lot, too. Like, I like the visual. I don't... They're not the worst Pokemon. They're not the best. I got a shiny one when I was playing through Sword and Shield on stream! I caught a shiny, a square shiny one on stream. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. And I used it in my uh, Sword and Shield, um, not main team, but when we were doing the crown, not crown, not crown. What was the island called? Fuck. The one with Kapu, that island. I used them on my team when I made a new team for that. That was pretty good. That was pretty sick. I didn't just walk back and do nothing. I also fuck you. Hey, look at them. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. It'll be quite a long journey. Let's take a rest in Mobile City, which is on the way. I concur! I think the girl said that. I should have said, I concur! Alright, battle. I don't like that whiskash. That scares me. Uh, probably take it out. The good thing about Malfoy is that Malfoy is very tanky. In this middle stage, at least. The downside is that losing uh, accuracy is very bad. Oh, don't use Amnesia. This trainer's countering everything I'm planning on doing ahead of time. Well, I can always use that shard at least. Oh, I need to use Aqua Ring. Gang, we are in for a long battle. I thought they just sent out Genesect. Man. If that would have been a completely different situation. I'd be freaking out. I would have no idea what to do. I actually really don't know what I would have done against a Genesect. I guess I still would have sent in radio and just started using, um... I don't know. Actually, I probably would have tried to paralyze it with Mount Boy. Almost done. Almost done dissecting this fucking fish. This catfish. Aqua Ring has, uh, so far, honestly paid off a lot in these battles of attrition. Very good move so far for this Nuzlocke. Been super handy at saving me from using healing items. Okay, and that's just a wee baby. I'm not even gonna bother swapping back out to anyone, because it's like... Not really gonna make a difference. And now... This is the battle that the radio gets the confusion, of course. The one battle that really doesn't matter. Not great. I'm just gonna dodge. I think I have more time to heal. Alright, on to Trick House. 
Three steps right and two steps forward to reach the wondrous trick house. One, two, three, one, two.